Good evening, Final Fantasy Randomizer fans, RPG Limit Break fans. I'm Caleb. I'm in the booth with Lupita's favorite burrito, Lord Fizzlebeef. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. It's time. It's time for spring tournament. It's time for. Uh, it's time for the Sea Troll Pod. Uh, I don't know if this is the first race in the Sea Troll Pod. But I I'm believe super this is one of the first races in the Sea Troll Pod. We got two veterans coming back. Demon Frog and Edgeward, these fellas have been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. So while we were doing the signups for Spring Tournament, we solicited interesting facts and other bits of information from our runners, and we could share some of that. So from Demon Frog, did you know that the heads on Easter Island have bodies? <laughs> it's true, they do. They're just like buried in dirt up to their necks. Um, <laughs> it, <laughs> uh, Edgeworth letting us know that on April 23rd, 1999, Fernando Tatis hit two grand slams in the same inning. That's pretty interesting. Fernando that's, Tatis Jr. That's a smart thing. Yeah. Fernando Tatis Jr. just scored one of the most lucrative contracts in Major League Baseball. Both of our runners have a varied, vast, long history running <laughs> FFR. Edgeworth, one of the first uh, tournament champions and participated in many, many tournaments. And Demon Frog wanted to let us know that his history includes a lot of losing. And <laughs> Demon Frog traditionally has one of the toughest roads through a spring tournament, whether it's Swiss or now in pods, Demon mm -hmm. Frog in the Sea Troll pod, joined not only by Edgeworth, mm -hmm. but also Burt Reynolds, another uh, runner looking to get some revenge against this game. <laughs> um, and I'm looking. It's a time-honored Trash Island Fire Department tradition. Always take the road of unreasonable difficulty. <laughs> And the, the fourth member of the Sea Troll Pod, bless his heart, Phoenix29, new member to the community and a lover of the pun. So he's a nice um, foil to Edge, who's also a lover of the pun. Just a mm -hmm. couple of pun loving guys. Mm -hmm. As a. Uh, puns in a pod? Puns in a pod. Finally, the the favorite enemy of our both of these runners, Demon Frog's favorite enemy is the troll, so it's fitting that he's in the sea troll pod. Meanwhile, Edgeworth's favorite enemy, the three zeros in the RNG table. <laughs> I appreciate that. I really do. <laughs> so we're gonna see how much RNG plays a factor here. Spoilers, it's gonna be a lot. Um <laughs> We have both runners run a black belt, so we're not going to see the black belt versus fighter meta on display, but we will see thief versus white mage. Who's going to have more flexibility with their party? That thief going to give Demon Frog a wonderful amount of run chances. Every encounter in this game, barring the fiend fights and boss fights, is runnable. Uh, I did not see the class blessings on this, um, so... Maybe we'll just kind of if figure that Fade, out as we go. If Fade is white locked in the first four levels, Edgeworth is going to be very happy and Demon's going to be real sad. If Fade yeah. is red learnable in the first four levels, I think they'll be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, and if Fade is like five through eight, that's kind of bad news uh, for Edge. Well, here we uh, go. Demon Frog pops into white magic level one, harm four, cure four, both okay. red learnable. And Black Magic Ice 3, so, so pretty good tools to start the game with. Um, Ice 3, a nice counter to that Harm 4. We have an ability to get around the undead early in the game with that Harm 4. Ice 3 is not going to do a whole lot of work, but there's big old Silver Sword for sale. Armor not rolling up. I'm not counting the Copper Bracelet, but a, a bog standard Iron Armor is fine. Wood Armor minus 3. Is that basically I, just cloth? With that's cloth. With evasion? Pretty sure. Yeah. Houses for sale, pretty cheap. 655 gold for a house is always a good price. Any Anytime it rolls under 1,000 gold, I get real happy about it. Mm -hmm. So Demon's first out of Canaria finds out that there is an encounter about two steps off the power cycle. That could be interesting information if we decide we really want to do an overworld grind with these black belts. Mm-hmm. 
And Mad Pony's just taking Demon to task here. It's fine. We we got Ice Three. Everything's okay. Well, the Ice Three is on the f half of the Ice Three charges are on the floor. It's fine. Demon doing the the free boxes here in Temple of Fiends. No loose items in these in these flags, but always good to get a little extra money to start the game with. Mm -hmm. That that well, if you can find a box with like a couple grand in it, and unfortunately just ninety three bucks, um, yeah, not going to be that's... enough to really be beneficial and provoke. Yes, and ouch. Yeah. Uh, speaking of ouch, stun touch zombies is bad news. I might consider using one of the ice three charges in that fight yes mm -hmm. we can only take one ice three charge to garland but we make it out of the fight but there was nothing in temple of fiends worth saving so if we did wipe is just whatever run back here we are and we don't have to worry about what happens if ice three rolls down for some reason mm -hmm. so demon through garland Going to get our first look here. King with the rod. So that's one of our seven required. Well, I guess only six required items because we already have the canoe to start with. Mm -hmm. And a slab. slab now, I've been bad news. Yeah, I've been trying to find a way to read the tea leaves with these flags. Like, mm -hmm. I've been like, if I get early slab and bottle, in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to get the floater any minute. And it never hmm. happens. It never, ever yeah. happens. Because it's like, why are you giving me this slab? Like, I'm trying to. I'm trying to right. force a logic on the game. <laughs> sure. I, I see what you're doing here, because, like, the slab is undoable without floater, right? Mm -hmm. And rod, as far as the logic of this flag set is concerned, is a dead-end item. Yeah. So now we're down to um, four locations that might have things, two of which are going to have ship and canal. Yeah. Um, I would... Demon with I've been the trying Victoria to figure boxes. out. Yeah, we got to pay for uh, magic in Provoca. Ooh. See, when I'm in Provoca, if I don't have money, maybe I'm maybe I'm I don't want to give away too many of my secrets. Sure. But when I'm there, I I like to just we have the ice three. Just right. pop over, kill Bicky. Bicky usually gives us anywhere from a thousand to like fifteen hundred gold, mm -hmm. uh, depending on the flags, and that's usually enough to finance uh, a couple mages. So. The magic for Elfland is a different story, but that, that money from Matoya might help carry over there, too. Right. Level 2 Fade, we got Fade. All right, and Wall. Important as ribbons, not... Well, they're guaranteed if you open all the boxes. Mm -hmm. You're going to find the three ribbons, but um, with yeah. these flags as having no loose, but in a, the randomized incentive box in a dungeon... Right. Sort of changes the game with how yeah. many boxes you're opening. No longer are we guaranteed to check the key lock boxes. No longer are we going to go make the cheeky Cardia check looking for that loose loot. Mm -hmm. No longer are we going to full clear Volcano with all its wonderful treasures. So, No, but we do have something different now. We do have at least, um, like, we get to see and we need gear. We might hit mermaids instead of just doing the numbers play and heading down to Kraken. Sure. Um, if we find a key item early in a dungeon, we might just keep opening boxes just to hope that we find something. Or we might, like, clear the back half of the dungeon and then hoping that it was just there. And if we don't find it, then we come back and clear the front half, but we still got all the stuff from the back half. Yeah. Um, different different strategies that I kind of like. Yeah, it's definitely interesting, but it's it's... I was having this conversation in the Center for Competitive Forfeiting with uh, my former Fall League team members, and we were discussing, and it's just like, between the the wibbliness of how many boxes we're opening, as well as the pseudo-clamped bosses we're now experiencing in the Temple of Fiends, and even the first Fiend refights where... Mm -hmm. Their stats are that sort of Swiss feeling stat, that 50% to 200%. Right. However, their HP is going to be a bare minimum their vanilla HP. Right. So being able to tease apart clamped stats is uh, one of my favorite new things in the randomizer because you can have that 
either that glass cannon boss where the HP could be really low but their stats scaled super high, or you could have that that tougher I'm just gonna wear you down Topher boss, and that's usually what we've been seeing. Right. Uh, at least in my experience with uh, the pickup races and the few races I've been able to watch this past week. So, mm -hmm. as both runners just sort of following their uh, each other down to Crescent Lake, you're going to get the free item here in the Circle of Sages. How early do you like to do ice in these flags? Uh, that's a that's a more complicated question than you might think. It's a it's it comes down to a couple things. Number one. Do I have any fetches pointing me to Dwarf Cave or Elfland? Um, mm -hmm. In this case, we don't. Um, so that points me in a nice direction. Thing number two, do I have the magic at level one and level two to make it through an ice cave? Fade is a real, real good start. Ice three? <laughs> maybe. That, that's, that's a solid maybe. I. Um, and the third thing... There are actually three things. Uh, can I get a house? Yeah. A house or two? Um, we did see houses in Canary, but we haven't seen them yet in right. Provoker or Crescent. And still no eyes on a shop item. Mm -hmm. Cheap silver bracelets plus three, uh, about 1,800 gold. It's pretty good low-level armor. Mm -hmm. I would I would entertain an ice dive with, with the stuff I'm seeing going on right now. I would entertain it. I think that was level six nuke. They the edge was in and out of that level six shop, but I'm pretty sure I saw nuke there. Mm -hmm. And the and old man your, hand over the dynamite. Yep, there's your 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 dwarven divining rod. Yeah, which you couldn't be geographically more farther away <laughs> in the inner sea. So uh -huh. now, do you start drifting back towards? Elfland and scoop up the marsh item while you're on your way to turn in that TNT or do you YOLO dive ice? If I wasn't confident enough to dive ice on my way past, I would not turn around and go for it. I would head for mm -hmm. um, I'd head for marsh and I'd head for that um, TNT turn in as that's the more dense locations that we have to worry about. Yep, there was there was in fact nuke and quad X at level 6 as well as heal 3. All of which are mage learnable not uh, promotion locked except for the red mage so demon gets his tnt and it seemed like both of our runners left provoca sort of around the same time demon frog hit the rivers a little bit faster but hit a little bit more resistance along the way than edge did <laughs> and uh edge beat him over to elfland so demon gonna check the encounter zones looking for some exps as MG Weirdo is hanging out with us in chat, calling it out. Mm -hmm. um, Edgeworth's going to go check out TNT Ternan. Given that we are always one key item away from Floater, I kind of like the dwarf check first. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like the dwarf check first, because if this ends up being Floater, that walk to Marsh can be saved. But what if it's um, like Crystal? <laughs> Then, uh, then we hit lap two on the inner sea. Uh, King King Steve just kind of walks out, just kind of waves the checkered flag, waves you on. Hi, everybody. <laughs> That's the crowd. So at least we're walking back to that save point. Sure. So we can get our adamant. So we can walk back. All right, Demon Frog finally making his way over to. Elfland. Let's see if we're gonna actually see the level three magic. Three magic. Uh, warp. Warp's important. Warp is very important if we're gonna do a marsh dive. Mm -hmm. Warp and lock uh, for early and end game. And there's our first look at life. It's red learnable. Mm -hmm. That cure three though, just out of reach. Dirt cheap too. And uh, crown, crown the, chime. the chime. All right. So that is narrowing us down to Marsh or Ice. And Lightning 3 and Temper. So still no no eyes on Fast. We might get lucky and find it at level 5. Mm -hmm. But it's um, we really want to find it at level 5. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go back to looks like Elfland and do his level 3 and 4 shopping 
Mm -hmm. Um, I wonder if Edge has been taking very few encounters. Yeah, pocket book's a little light. Mm -hmm. Um, that's making me think that um we couldn't afford the things when we came through the first time. Yeah. Um, now from here, I still like the marsh play just because it's the shortest, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Because if we take all the time to go to ice and dig that out, and that's not what we're looking for, that's a massive time loss. Whereas if we dip over to marsh, it's a just under 50-50 chance, whatever we want on the top floor. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is the order that you do things in. Yeah, it's 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 like we talk about with other flag sets. It's the or even in these flag sets lit in the mid to late game, it's mm -hmm. the proximity routing. Like we're right here. Yep. So definitely, definitely agree with this. Um, Seeing both runners, or at least Edge, taking some overworld fights, probably looking to stock up on some nice, easy early game levels mm -hmm. uh, before we hit the hard stuff because if this marsh is not a boat we're headed to ice cave and that's a scary place to be when you're level four <laughs> and we also don't know what kind of um encounters we're going to expect on the spike tiles right with, with these flag sets the a side b side is a tri-state so we won't know until someone steps on a tile mm -hmm. and that first look usually happens in if you're feeling froggy volcano because that's pretty free but more often than not you don't actually usually get down to the crown box in marsh usually you find out an ice cave so hooray hooray all right all right box number there's two there's a boat all, all right, right. Ice Cave Let's... might not be required. It could have the ruby. It could have uh, a tail. And it could have a uh, white shirt or a power gauntlet. 20 bucks says it's required, and we'll be back in about half an hour. <laughs> yep, there's only three, <laughs> technically four, dud items on this table that we really mm -hmm. kind of could do without. Like, we don't care necessarily about the white shirt we could do without power bonk ruby is a likely total dud yeah <laughs> um, and black belt parties generally run without a tail yeah uh so with that in mind i'd be i'd be headed out elsewhere i'm looking at uh i'm looking at ordeals and waterfall before i do anything else no early skydive see the no, problem sky, sky, is sky, we've, sky, only, sky. we've only got a chime and i I love Sky 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 Sky, but you know, you know how many times I found, you know how many times I found the floater on the first floor Mirage after full clearing the game. I'm gonna say <laughs> once, and thus the RNG has been satisfied, and we can just not do that ever again. Oh, uh, it's been like three times in like the past like half dozen seats. It's terrible. <laughs> 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 All right, cleaning up our purchases here. Demon's gonna dig up his swamp boat. I guess that kind of makes it. What are those? What are those little uh, hovercrafts called that they have down on the bayou? The big propeller on the back. I thought those were called swamp boats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Airboat. Thank you, MG Weirdo. <laughs> Ages plus four. So Demon Frog going to the bottom first. Mm -hmm. That Ages plus four shield. That might get us some uh, spells later. <laughs> yeah, we can throw it in a wood chipper, get a big bag of money out of it. Uh, um, oh boy. I... So, A side tiles with that okay. single nightmare. That's, that's good news. That's, that's good news, bad news, right? Well, sure. This would be bad news for a black belt if we existed in an environment where real, but they're not. So, it's just kind of a bummer. Um, but it's a bummer that will affect both runners evenly. Yeah, and it's we're gonna. So I like I, I I'm with uh, Greg Lee Puff on this one. I like I prefer a sides with when I'm bringing a black belt in these flags because it's it's gonna be slower. But like you said, both run, any runner that brings a black belt is gonna be impacted by it. But it's so much safer with like how many different 
nasty scripts we found on anything in the world and you know that you're guaranteed to find an agama an eye or a metal slime tile mm -hmm. so i i prefer a size like b size are definitely faster mm -hmm. but they're incredibly volatile in my opinion with these flags sure. uh but safety is a four letter word so it's actually six letters <laughs> we'll get you spelling soon fizzle we'll get you spelling soon <laughs> words are hard <laughs> I, but I've been deals. Head too many times by all these B-side <laughs> encounters. <laughs> We're gonna get our first look at ordeals as Demon makes the the walk of shame to top the marsh attic, as uh, I heard some runners refer to it as. So I kind of like it, <laughs> the marsh attic. Sure. Uh, always check the attic first. Uh, it's the spot. All the all the good stuff flows to the top, right? Demon's oh man, Matt Man Sprite just. Looks like he's swinging his arms so hard, just just stomping around. <laughs> yeah, Fine, I'll come up here and look. <laughs> I spent all that time in the basement of Mars. Wasn't anything down there. This gear for a character I don't even have. Fine. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Edge in ordeals finds a sorcerer pack. We're gonna blast this away with some ice three and some fade sorcerer. It's pretty really good experience. And when we cycle out their uh, their dazzle and their trance and their death touch, uh, a complete joke of an enemy. I believe there was a race earlier that had sorcerers with death touch. I believe that happened this afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, it was pretty exciting to see when you <laughs> when you see that six pack of the sorcerers and you just learn after fighting Tia two. Oh, <laughs> they got death touch. Uh oh. <laughs> Oof. it's amazing um the way the way the, the random like people in this community put so much time from their personal lives into playing this game refining it coming up with strategies um lifting each other up teaching each other how to play this game how to do well at this game and just to be rewarded with what this seed can give you in return it just it it warms the the the, the very cockles of my heart <laughs> 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 All right, let's find out what else we got going on here on ordeals. As Edge is just going to take the the easy sorcerers because that's good XP early on. Mm -hmm. Ordeals is a great place to level up until I don't know fifteen ish. Mm -hmm. um, regardless of what's on the tiles, just the stuff that's in here, just blast it with ice Except three and fade. I hate our coils. So fun fact regarding the spring tournament: when, when we collected everyone's favorite enemy information you know who wasn't there argoyles because <laughs> nobody likes argoyles nobody likes argoyles they're there's not even the, meme worthy they're just there's, uh, there's all this talk in the dev community about uh, in, inserting new enemies into the game and which ones we have to remove in order to accom accommodate that um and for there's a there's a new uh, alpha flag that allows you to fight Bahamut in order to earn promotion if you don't have mm -hmm. the tail, and crystal right away for Edge here in ordeals not the worst placement. No, um, we're right next to turning that in, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, and they're 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 talking about like taking away the ankylos. It's like take away the argoyles, man. Just, just be yeah. Done with them. What do you, what even is a red goyle? I mean, come on, the gargoyles it's, are fine. We don't need it's red a really ones. mad goyle. <laughs> <laughs> is Demon uh, going to Ice Cave? Demon's going to Ice Cave, and here is why I like this play. Uh, Demon has been having some trouble getting stuff. It was we um, we last locationed the thing in Marsh. We've been having some problems with river encounters. We haven't really done a lot of stuff yet. So let's you know. Throw caution to the wind, hedge our bets, and go do Ice Cave. Or we could just reset and head out and follow the numbers play. It's going to just going to stomp our, our black belt boat out of here. Yeah. Uh, qu a comment from chat from Classic Gamer. Um, Man Cats did get a vote. So how about that? <laughs> um, man, man Cats are in this weird position where, like, yes, they resist everything, but you could still, like, push them yeah. over with two Ice Threes. They'll resist mm -hmm. it. But they don't have yeah. the health to stand up to it. Yeah, I'll totally throw like a fade or a nuke if I'm like running through the the teleporter maze. Mm -hmm. I'll totally throw a bucket of microwaves at a uh, pack of them and the Medusas. Yeah. 
And still no vendor item, but opportunity to buy more houses if we wanted to. So vendor item is either here in Onrak or it is floater locked. And it's or, right there. Yeah, or um, the floater's for sale. <laughs> All right, so Edge gonna do the waterfall. I like this play. Do it while we're here, and then go get the airship. Mm -hmm. Although we don't have the Oxyol, I mean, I, I, I think you can go either way. Um, so I would definitely do waterfall first because if waterfall is the Oxyol, then we can just do C while we're here, and we don't have to double dip this continent. This is true, but at level twelve, we got and... fade. We got uh, uh huh, fade. We got uh -huh. fade. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we got lots. I of mean, things. there's there's a level two Brack. Mm -hmm. Oh I, yeah, that's I'm, right. I'm, Brack was level two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm slowly coming around on like that. I don't like to do Brack on Kraken one because I just I'd rather just do damage because I've had mm -hmm. too many fights where it's like and that's the tenth Brack that missed. Yeah, and then Kraken's already taken out two of my light warriors at that point, and then it's then all I can do is pray for it to hit. I can see that rationale if we have some method of doing sufficient damage. Mm -hmm. And two fades gets most of the way there, but I'd like to have a third option to back that up. We got or... level f level four lightning three. Well, but our caster's already. Well, all right, that would be two fades and a lightning three. Uh, that could that could work. I can see that. With a uh, with a vanilla minimum vanilla HP crack and maybe maybe two rounds, you might get lucky. I mean, we only we only have to come up with eight hundred to twelve hundred damage. Um, Fade's yeah. not going to be resisted, and we're only dealing with 160 M death, so it's going to roll out more often than not. Lightning 3 is going to be just kind of whatever. That kind of... My napkin math says that's... I gave them a four pillar of speed. Um, so I don't know, I like 400 it. damage around. That's like two to three rounds. I gave them a four pillar seed. Welcome to my nightmare demon frog in Edgeworth. <laughs> uh, to note, they specifically requested not a Danny seed. Enjoy your four pillars. Yep. Got to be but very specific when you ask that monkey's paw for favors. Nothing um, that terrifying, though, on the enemy scripts that we've seen so far. And I'm not even going to knock on wood on that one. Um, <laughs> question from chat. What's that mean? So typically, uh, Danny, 383, our tracker and one of the uh, strength tournament staff, she rolls a lot of seeds for the community races and the different races because she's constantly organizing the races and helping us out behind the scenes so she's usually the one rolling seeds for folks and there's the not required waterfall mm -hmm. with a tail oh. robot tail <laughs> it's like the robot cat ears only now it's just a robot tail also something took demon frog down in here um i know that it was the blue d tile yeah. that finished him off i did not see what took down i the mages. think it's just a lack of armor mm -hmm. uh oh so clarification on the four pillar seed so in the temple of ordeals there we're dealing with a maze of pillars and there's one particular pillar the room where demon frog is in right now there's three pillars there's four pillars to choose from three of them are pretty easy to choose from those three right there having to walk all the way around to this one mm -hmm. is a bummer but in, yeah. at least it's a four pillar seed that leads directly to the steps and not a four pillar seed that leads to like a 50 50. like oh, a, one of the, the two pillar rooms yeah i've had my fill of those i don't mm -hmm. like them but edge off the on rack on it with his tail and his floater we're gonna go jump in the air and excavate that airship and get mobile mm-hmm So at this point, I'm... So Edgeworth is ahead by a waterfall dive, basically. Sure. Um, and I think a crystal turn in. Mm. Um, well, he hasn't done the crystal yet, I don't think. He, okay. he, has, he has it, but he hasn't gone to Matoya yet. He went right from Ordeals to... Oh, okay. I thought I saw him go down. I... All right. So, yeah. A waterfall dive and a traverse... Edge is probably around four minutes ahead at this point. Yeah, but any of that can, yeah, can change with the, the drop of a hat the minute somebody 
route something slightly differently. Yep. Or doesn't miss something in a dungeon that the other runner wiped out too. Like. Mm -hmm. it... All right, edge in the air, right around the twenty-five minute mark. Feels pretty good time for one of these seeds. Yeah, usually twenty minutes uh, before I'm in the air, or the fifteen minutes after I'm already in the air. <laughs> yeah. Um, something I want to point out: Demon is very aggressively um, doing power cycling in areas that might have solo grind potential. Uh, I saw him looking for the Saria encounter. Didn't find mm -hmm. him. Um, I have a feeling once we're in the air, we're going to be looking for steak. Yeah. Overall grind, super, super duper effective with these flags, especially with the Black Belt Party. Um, Edgeworth finds Old Man Sarda holding onto the Oxy Ale. So no idea where that ruby is, but it is not required. So you want to hope that it's in sky or sea and... You never have to worry about it. <laughs> Demon gets his floater for sale. We'll see if he does waterfall. Gonna stay at the inn here instead of burning a house outside the town. Yeah. You gotta pay the on rack tax to stay mm -hmm. in there. Holiday Inn Express. All right. Demon can do the same thing Edge did, and Edge talks to Dr. Oon about his Duolingo account. Mm -hmm. Learns Lafayne. Finian. <laughs> yeah, you're going to see mostly similar routing, uh, mm -hmm. I think, at least up until Floater, between these two runners. Um, they've both been in the community for a long, long time, and certain habits develop over time. And I find myself sitting here watching a lot of this just going, yep, yep, that's what you do. You're doing <laughs> the thing. <laughs> and there's... Minus one power gauntlet, so... Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? An edge moving the silver bracelet off because our passive armor is already at silver bracelet territory. Did Demon find this gas dragon right off the hard reset in... Waterfall, or is this just middle of the encounter? No, it's That's just... middle of the table. Yeah. All right, Edge going to be the first here to start digging out a grind. Going to check. No. no just going gonna to knock out Earth Cave. Yep. Mine as well. There's a lot of folks that I've talked to hanging out in the, the spring tournament uh, sports bar or dive bar or comedy club, whatever whatever the name is of the day. Yeah, whatever it's named Discord. this set of five minutes. <laughs> on the Discord server, and... There's always talk about order of operations, and a lot of folks uh, swear by doing Earth Blast because it's mm -hmm. proximity to TOF. You can get like three towns within flying distance, I guess, and you're right here, basically. So I wonder if Edge is going to be checking the tiles on Earth B4. Those are very, very rarely checked. What? Um, Greed Asher Ma Greed Box. Nice. Greed Mazza is nice. It'll help with a solo grind. It's not really what this party wants. But still, in the Asher Box, you love to see it. Mm -hmm. I do roll lucky boxes in Earth Cave, so... <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag never Earth. It's going to be like, there's going to be like three ri or at least one ribbon on Earth for now, probably. <laughs> All right, here comes Demon, off to the the Ryukon Desert, gonna get his airship. All right, we had left, we had up. Uh, no, we're heading oh, left. We're, we're just gonna, gonna go the kill. tiles down here. We're just gonna go take care of Lich. Yeah, just go make fun of a Lich real quick. Lich gets no respect. He's the Rodney Dangerfield of the uh, the fiends. I sure don't respect them, except uh, the other <laughs> night um, when the first two spells in Lich 2's uh, spell table were nuke. Oh yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> that, that that made me sit up and go, all right, 
listen here. <laughs> Look here. Look here, you little witch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mummies and demons in the air, about five minutes behind. Uh, Edgeworth's gonna do the same thing, gonna come over here, gonna get his Oxiel, and we'll see what he does. If he goes straight to Matoya to get the Power Gauntlet, or if we get some Route Divergence. Popping into Melmont, just like Edge did, finds gold bracelets, minus one, super duper expensive, 47k. Yeah, like, I still want them, but I'm less happy about them. Mm -hmm. Level five magic, we got block two. Sure, it exists. I think Lock bunch. 1 shared um, a level with something we wanted, so having Lock 2 off by itself really frees up resources. So throw damage out at Lich. Uh, out of Fades, we're going to be switching to Lightning 3s, more Harm 4s, more Lightning 3s. Did about 400-ish damage. Yeah, there, she, there it goes. So yep. Lich down, Orb Light, 32 minutes. Edge with an Orb Lead. And Where are we going, we going to Volcano? We going Vanilla Boss Order? Edge not pulling any punches. Maybe, we're, maybe we'll check uh, Spike Tiles here in the Volcano. Yes, we're so, why I would start doing, like, do the Vanilla Dungeons in order is I would be looking for, um, like, I'm not confident in my levels to take on Ordeal, or not Ordeals, um, sky or sea so i want to go through earth and volcano i want to take the easy encounters that i can uh find along the way to get me the spell charges and the mdef and the health necessary to survive any weird stuff that's in those two places um i i feel like i see the logic as being that so question from in chat from stinnet doesn't remember Final Fantasy having plus and minus weapons. How do those work, Fizzle? So we have blurst gear. We have weapons and armor that have a plus or minus bonus. In this particular flag set, things can roll um, as low as minus five and as high as plus five. If uh, a weapon rolls plus, it's going to have additional attack power, additional to hit, which controls the number of hits per swing, and additional crit. If it has a minus, it has minus all of those. If it's armor, the plus gives it more absorb, and it reduces the evade penalty. Um, evade penalty will never go below zero, though, so you won't have armor like generating evade. Um, if it's regular armor, it's plus one absorb, but if it's um, chest armor, it's plus or minus two absorb, which can be a lot for some things. Like, you see cloth plus five, that cloth armor is now suddenly only a few points shy of chain armor. Um, just to give it some context. Yeah. Um, Maza minus one is still the best weapon in the game by a lot. A Maza is equivalent to right around an Excal plus five. Um, so, Demon into Ice Cave. I think we're looking for... We're, we're looking, looking for tiles. Yeah, we're looking for tiles now. We saw him go into Earth. And now Edge just lights a second orb. Easy as that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Mm -hmm. Two orbs in for Edge. Still blew past every one of the spike tiles. Mm -hmm. And some of those are pretty quick to check. But here's Edge going to follow Demon into the ice cave. And we're going to get our first look here at the incentive item here. Still looking for key. Still looking for loot. Still looking for cube. We have incentive ice, incentive sky, and incentive sea shrine on the table mm -hmm. uh, of, the, of our duds meaning we've got ruby and white shirt yep okay we found we've matoya had the power bonk and we've got the tail from the robot mm -hmm. all right and so far i feel like I've, I've given these runners a pretty generous ish seed and that um 
they have been hit a whole lot of adversity here. This is going to come down to, I think, execution and just that, that RNG uh, combat luck kind of thing. This is a weird pathing on this floor, but all right. I, I, that's the pathing I take through this floor to check those spike tiles if you got warp. I guess. I don't, I don't like using warp charges like that. Yeah. I, I get it. I, I, I see you, Demon. <laughs> uh, mummy tile is going to be not bad if we're below 15 to 18 it's okay to hang out with this for a bit but this is not a long term solution mm -hmm. and there it is free right there in the uh, the white D room loot and we're done so edge in and out I am suspect of Edge's strategy here because it seems to be uh, we're not doing a solo grind with that black belt. We're going to get that black belt as high as we just to some level that we are satisfied with and take it into Topher. I mean, it's got a power gauntlet. We don't have a defense sword, so yeah. Um, it doesn't have that... that there's Frostwolf Wizard. Death stronger than it's supposed to be. Neat. Frost Wolves got a buff. Um, <laughs> Blurst Wolves, let's go. Uh, I like I like the player from Demon. Gonna check the six pack. We're still hoping for a ribbon. Uh, we know where the the Masa is for the the support characters. Katana's pretty good for him if he promotes. Mm -hmm. Again, we don't know if the uh, any one of those classes can equip that prior to promotion with the the class blessings. But mm -hmm. sure. But I will also point out that uh, Demon Frogs thief has been turned to stone for an awfully long time and i do not expect that to change prior to topher so i wouldn't count on the katana being a thing but there's our oh, black what? mage swinging a katana so there it is there's the black mage's bonus yep. um <laughs> even still like a a low level herb from the the lafinians so even like a, a mid-level thief like you pick them up as your 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 meat shield for topher and there's Demon Frog giving the simultaneous info about the wolves with uh, Blizzard, but it, it can still do some damage. It's not going to go full blender mode, but mm -hmm. you know, with a, a fast and maybe a temper, it can be doing some respectable damage. Worth also noting, Edge has been seems like Edge has been on uh, three person for quite the while. Mm -hmm. Um. If we are aggressive with the trash encounters that we take from here to the end of the game, we could get that black belt up to around the 25, 27 range. That's comparable to a uh, 24 knight swinging a Maza. Um, might be hoping that that's just good enough to get us through. And there's the white shirt. So C and Sky. One has the key, the key. Well, we have the key, the cube, and the ruby still out there. Adamant and bottle also still out there. So, uh, obviously, the key uh, can't lock itself, and the canary locked is in the pool. So, you, I think the the trolliest experience here would be keys gating the ruby. Oh, interesting. Edgeworth is uh, going down to a solo grind. I just saw party manipulation and I just saw gear being unequipped. Looks like we're going to hang out. Edge, where are we going? There's uh there's waters here and the 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 fire elemental tile with all that early ice three. Oh. So Edge is preparing for a solo grind while wandering around in Sea Shrine, it's true that there are a lot of low sprite um, encounters in Sea Shrine, but there's also a couple nine spriters. Um, the yeah, the uh, Arsahag, the... Mizahag, for instance. Also, ghosts uh, will ruin mm -hmm. our day a little bit. Yeah, these snakes can be nasty too, and the the big lobster packs. Mm -hmm. Or it looks like we're just dumping the white mage, and we're just going down to two-man black belt red that might be what we're going for mm -hmm. that makes more sense okay hey, look it's more argoyles yeah argoyles 
All right, Demon, uh, unhappy with all the spike tiles he's found, perseveres. If we can manage to survive everything in that sea throws at us while essentially full clearing it, which is what we're doing because we're doing mermaid side first, uh, we could probably get that black belt up to 32. Will that be enough? Uh, we'll have to be in Topher to find out. Yeah, I mean... Ooh, ghost with zap. This is an uh-oh. That's pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> that's an uh-oh. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. First look here. Hey, Dragon Plus 4 armor. That'll look really great in some vendor shop. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dima going to check for steak here in the desert. Get sandwiches. No, we find sandwiches. I would not shake a stick at that. So I think we're going to put that in the back of our head mm -hmm. because now we can walk to... And there's, there's, a, there's the Ooh. mythical blue steak. So that's better Ooh. than a sandwich. That's a lot better than a sandwich. That's prime cut. Edge getting a lot of uh, decent caster items here, but not really anything that we're looking for. Yeah. So, Demon has found his grind. Now, there's Edge's bottle. Pretty good. Okay. Um, I was thinking he was going to walk to Lafayne to get that key item to give this grind a 5% boost. Sure. Um, but I think it, uh, it looks like Demon just wants to get it over and done with and... Yeah, for five per for five percent, like I would just do this first, um, especially because the white, as far as he's concerned, um, the white shirt's still in the wind, um, mm -hmm. so that could be a long walk for nothing. And okay. even if we do the long walk and it's something, like it's almost faster to just do this now. Um, I think the big question is how long those two mages are going to be staying upright. So it looks like uh, in chat. Audrey asked, uh, surprised that Demon keeps finding these stakes. So every time you do a hard reset or turn off the game, turn it back on, uh, it resets the encounter table. So you're going to see the same fights depending on the zone that you're in in the game, whether it's the dungeon floor or a certain grid on the overworld. So as long as Demon just stays right here and just keeps turning the power off and on again on his game, saving it after every fight, this T-Rex will always be here just to get pummeled into and this is why they're like a rare encounter the frog killed them all <laughs> ah okay so she was aware of the power cycle mm -hmm. um, uh, meanwhile Edgeworth headed back to Waterfall um, and we're sacrificing that red mage so is that Gasty off the power cycle is this or is that Gasty's second encounter? Oh, buddy. And Edge got 54 houses in his backpack. Okay, this is telling me Gasty is second encounter. All right, so Gasty second encounter, uh, T-Rex first encounter. I believe the T-Rex is the faster grind. Mm-hmm. But... Edge can't build a house in a waterfall, and Demon's got some party members to kill because mm -hmm. the Black Belt can't take this on its own yet. Meanwhile, yet. Edge's right. Black Belt is taking these Gasties on its own, and already up to level 21. <laughs> That's... The Maza helps get Edge's mm -hmm. Black Belt going faster, but as soon as Demon Frog's Black Belt hits 21, uh, it like should right have no now. problem with this. Yeah, it should have no problem. All right, and there they go. They're going to start showing the T-Rex all this neat stuff that they found. And the T-Rex with Lightning 2 going to help the cause here. I wonder um, what that second spell is going to be. I'm scared of that second spell. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> all right. And that Katana doing work. Ooh, <laughs> big melee damage. Almost got the Black Mage down. 
up to 22 for Demon Frog and 24 for Edge. So until Demon Frog gets these uh, mages down, it's going to be uh, Edge's XP race to win. <laughs> All right, we got one party member down, so we just need to get this other one down and we'll be in business. Yeah, because he's going to be pulling in. Where are you going, Demon? Come back. Uh, restocking on items is my assumption. Okay. Demon. Demon, what are we doing? Demon, please. <laughs> and there's Demon, no please. there's no save items. Oh, no. Go to the caravan, buddy. Yeah. Get in the party boat. Go to the other store. The sketchy one across town. <laughs> go find this, this guy underhill. He lives in the desert. <laughs> and there's houses. Yep, buy 30 of them. I would have probably yeah. just bought 99. There it is. 72 <laughs> houses purchased for Demon Frog. We got ourselves a real estate war. And people made fun of me when I bought 50. <laughs> I think he was one that made fun of me when I bought 50. <laughs> Never yell at him later. All right. Building a house. He had cabins. Right. And cabins should be the thing. Oh, Demon, you're not doing a two-man grind, are you? Hmm. Uh, Demon, please. All right. And Edgeworth up to 28 now. Mm -hmm. Almost uh, almost ready to switch that Masa off. I'm betting that Edgeworth is going to 32 and is going to call it good there. With easy, easy, plentiful access to Fade, I don't think we need to worry that much. And we also have Life, and we also have Level 1 Cure 4. It seems fairly likely that um, healers in your party are going to survive any given fiend encounter. So I think Edgeworth will be happy with 32. And now it's time for the Red Mage to go to sleep for Demon Frog. Thank you, Demon uh, Frog. So we'll see if the, the charges on Demon Frog's Red Mage in the later game come into play. All right, and here we go. Off to the races. Where's our... Where's our... Uh, it's... It's your steak facts. <laughs> uh, steak facts. Uh, that one's really rare. But is it? It's pretty common. It's no, right here. It's... There's like a million of them. <laughs> but it's really undercooked. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> what's your... What's your favorite cut of steak, Fizzle? You know... Do you a strip guy, you fillet, you like the ribeye? You one of these like newfangled hipster tri-tip people? I used to be all about the fillet, but I gotta say, there's a local place that does an amazing ribeye, so now I'm all about that ribeye. I'm always I I, I like to cheat on this question. Mm -hmm. Give me a give me a porterhouse, so I can have the strip and the fillet. <laughs> uh huh. Ten out of ten. All right, I think our XP's catching up. Demon Frog's uh, black belt put in work, mm -hmm. jumped up to 32, and simultaneous 32 hits. So, will they continue? Edgeworth is done. Demon continues. So, Edgeworth's gas D. So the gas D is only giving around 7,000 experience, whereas the blue stake is giving around 12,000, closer mm -hmm. to 13,000. Um. I see why Demon Frog is going to 42, and I see why Edgeworth stopped at 32. Yeah. Um, Demon Frog's really going to need to get a move on to catch up to Edgeworth's progression. Yeah, he's got to go to Sea Shrine. He's got to get the... Well, we don't know if that bottle's required out of sea. Um, mm -hmm. But as, as far as that, it's just the orb lighting, and he did the two non-required... Uh, Fiend dungeons, which can be quick. Mm -hmm. So, but if Edgeworth hits any sort of stumbling block in Topher, because also that 42 black belt is going to have a significant more amount of magic defense, and right. we still don't have a ribbon, and Topher can be nasty. We do have the ghosts with Zap in here that could ruin that 32 black belt stay as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, so what I'll say is that 
A 32 black belt still needs support to get through Topher, but the support we have is really, really, really good. However, a 42 black belt can get through Topher with no support. Mm -hmm. And our first look at the Sahag pack, we run. Checking the free boxes, gets us off. I think Demon hit his uh, 42 there. I so, believe so. In remarkable amount of time, considering that Edge finished his grind. They both hit 32 at the same time. Mm -hmm. And Team uh, Frog is 39, according to our Restreamer Dark Moon. So. Our Restreamer Dark Moon pointing out that he stopped at 39 because he stopped getting a level per stake. Uh, probably going to hope that we hit 42 between now and then. And Spells App. Good to see your Spells App hanging out. Uh, pushing the glasses up, saying, actually, he's level 4. So I'm glad somebody's watching this race, because apparently Fizzle and I just get distracted about steak, and we're back! <laughs> but I think this is just, uh, this no, is just got... to, uh, to yeah, go to the fame. <laughs> but what's one more steak on the way? Sure. One for the road. And we even woke up the thief, so... Mm -hmm. I feel vindicated. <laughs> and I there's 41. That thief getting levels. It just got some levels, and we're gonna. Hey, we, I heard you like steak. Have some wings, please, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fine, I'll eat them. <laughs> are you a, are you a, a barbecue wing? You a hot wing guy? You like buffalo. your fried buffalo? Mm -hmm. Hundred percent buffalo. Where's your where's your where's your heat threshold? Do you live um, in like the medium range? Do you kind of just keep it chill with the mild, or do you go step, uh, a couple steps shy of ghost pepper? Okay. Respect it. This is where I prefer to live. Can respect it. And the Lafinians give out some herbs. So, mm -hmm. I guess. Oh, now cobbled. we can properly cook the steak, should we yeah. find it again. Yeah, a little bit of. I like I like some dried or some fresh thyme with the steak and a little butter base with some garlic. Classic mm -hmm. preparation. As we got cracking time, Brack's not working. Fade. 188, and goodbye, White Mage. It's fine. We don't need a White Mage. Kraken's got some absorbed sixes for 318, but we get through. We mm -hmm. get through. That would scare me. If I saw mm -hmm. a Kraken 2 fight where my endgame damage carry is only managing about 300 damage a swing, and I don't believe we've seen fast, I would be concerned. Uh, that is correct. We have not seen fast. Mm -hmm. And we so, checked the level seven shop where we could get um, where we could get it on a red maid or on a red wizard. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but we did not check the mm -hmm. um, the other place on rack. We had, I don't yeah. think we saw on racks level seven. I don't think we saw on rack. Uh, I wonder if Demon doing the, the odds on play, so he's going to get that last location mm -hmm. bottle, which is going to mm -hmm. feel bad. Yeah. But three orbs for Edge. Um, the big difference now is the levels on the Black Belt. Can mm -hmm. a 32 Black Belt carry for Edge works with a White Mage support? Or will... Uh, likely unless disaster. It's that mm -hmm. unless disaster, that's, that's the thing that I'm kind of waiting for. And with that key... Uh, we're mm -hmm. just now looking for cube. What if cubes in less than greater than are in this whole time? <sighs> Sorry, this uh, is the sound of me dying. Question from chat. Doesn't the black belt do more damage if unarmed and unarmored? If unarmed, yes. If unarmored, no. The, the black belt, if it's not armored, has a level of absorb equal to its level as a character, but you can get higher than that with gear should you find uh, gold opal bracelets pro rings and a ribbon and there's our cube so not required ruby behind the adamant in sky Sounds so awful. go mode acquired for edge here at the 55 minute mark with one dungeon to do demon frog all four dungeons to do but has just a fist blender gonna come through here the only awkward thing is, so we can go mode three of the um, dungeons, three of the four dungeons that Demon is missing. We can just go mode him and not care. 
we're in yeah. the dungeon that we can't go mode. Yeah. And we went um, the wrong way. We yeah. we lost the coin flip. So, if we do mermaids before we do the pre mermaids floor, which uh, I hope he does because he's got warp, that should yeah. claw a little bit of time back. Yeah, especially if he sees the ghost with zap along the way to mm -hmm. crack in here. Right. Now, another thing that could benefit Demon Frog is finding a ribbon here in Mermaids. Um, a little extra added viability, or even a defense sword. I think a defense sword might be a, a better find than a ribbon at this point. Maybe, but I don't think the 42 Black Belt needs it. The ribbon would be nice for the Lifecaster, um, but I don't think that Black Belt's going to need much of anything. It still would be nice, I still feel like, because the, the Red Mage has got life, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was, would love to have a ribbon on my life caster. Mm -hmm. um, hey, an eye. And Agamas. Look at those. Well, I mean, the, the eyes in the wild, but the Agamas are a spike tile here. Mm -hmm. And still nothing other than that zap. Nothing super spooky on these enemy scripts. And so pretty friendly uh, seed so far. All right, we got Edgeworth approaching the Bridge of Destiny. Are we going to get a war mech? Ooh, was Bam some stun touch? Was Bam's deciding? Nah, we're not going to. We're not going to do the black belt punch thing. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to stop <laughs> and allow me to punch the rest of your light warriors. Out. But the the harm fours get it done. Lightning 3 is helpful as well. And here comes Kraken. And we're just going to punch Temper and Temper. Mm -hmm. Temper 1 goes off. Temper 2 goes off. You love it. You love to see it. Punch. 7 hits, 14.45. That used to be a Kraken. Now it's just a bunch of... It's just gross. Yeah. <laughs> I got all these pieces of squid on me. Now it's shark bait. Chum. <laughs> <laughs> and now Demon Frog having to go back in here and chum some more of this dungeon. <laughs> and there's oh, the war mech. Oh, we're going to take a war mech. Free levels. Let's test this black belt on 7 is 416 and a fade followed with 148. And there's a zap. Mm, uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh, spaghettios. <laughs> uh, followed up with ink. Demon, go to mermaids. Demon, go to mermaids. This is a mermaids. Demon, please. Demon, go to mermaids. Four and there's 424, oh. down goes Warmack. Up to 35, so another big uh, level jump there. And, hey, Demon Frog, these ghosts have zap. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. And we lost our warp caster, so that feels bad. Meanwhile, over on the Edgeworth side, we're doing we're doing temper, we're doing fade. Fade goes out for two oh four. Incoming punch only does one twenty one. Outgoing punch, four hits for three eighty two. Down goes Tia one. And, and Demon Frog Topher. It's like a fifty fifty chance Demon Frog gets his bottle in, his, in the last box. <laughs> so. <laughs> Doesn't feel great. Yeah. But yeah, right at the hour mark, that's a you know, wonderful time with these flags getting into Topher. Should we get past these Ranklos? Alright, fifty fifty. Alright, he, he's gonna it's not gonna be the last box he gets, but Mm -hmm. Close enough. Um, I have had a paranoia thing in these seeds when I practice them, where if I get down to like the last two to three boxes in a dungeon, like my brain, my lizard brain starts talking to me and it says, "The white shirt was here and you forgot you picked it up." 
and we're opening boxes for no reason. Mm -hmm. Until I open uh, the key item and it's just like, nah, just kidding. All right, let's see what Edgeworth can do with this 32 black belt. Take bad a lot man. of damage hit, from bad man. Hit real hard. Bad man, no. But he did not. Lord Fizzle Beef is heel pots. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Came in with a whopping 97. I could have been a contender. Demon will turn in the bottle, get the key and hopefully beeline for that check mm -hmm. and hit his go mode and very quickly blow through the remaining dungeons. We're only, we're only an hour in, and we just have the one key item to go. I would not feel pressured to make the Hail Mary play of checking um, Mirage. Um, I would, especially with the airship, you just go do a key check. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, especially like knowing how many dud like the the tail still out there or not the tail mm -hmm. the ruby and the um the adamant yeah the attaboy demon yeah all right it's Edge. time we got uh. poison damage lich is pretending to be a real boss seven it's 311 311 lich still there two hits 199 lich still there red mage is waiting patiently two hits 102 no <laughs> respect down goes lich too red mage has better things to do <laughs> just like why you get out of here yeah, got, got to save those spell charges for a real actual fight. Agamus with Axe Fur? Gross. Yikes. Demon gets his white shirt here from the herb, so forgot that he still had that turn in to do, so mm -hmm. that's a nice bit of uh, safety for Demon Frog. Mm -hmm. All right, Demon. That's the last box you're opening. Time to go. Ever again. Okay, and it, it's fine. We're going to temper up. We're going to fade. We get good turn order here so far. I spoke too soon. <sighs> but Gary's gone, so pretty cool. All right. Well, now now the, the damage. Now the 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 real spooky floor is hit. Yep. Because we're going to hit the, the thick part of the encounter table very soon. Mm-hmm. Moving the power gauntlet to the white mage, just in case. Interesting. It's good to have backup strats. Did we have ruse? Are we looking at white samurai strats? We did. Level 4 ruse in slot 2, so only the white mage has it. That seems like a backup plan. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here comes Kraken 2. The ablative meat shield is online. <laughs> All right. We're going to open with some temper. How about some temper? Maybe a little bit of ruse and a punch. Incoming fire three. 180 Ooh. damage to one layer of the meat shield. Ruse goes off. Temper goes off. Punch. Five hits for 646. That's a real good start. Second temper goes off. What are we doing? We're just going to go for chip damage for the rest of it. We're going to spray some ice threes, a little bit of fade, and a punch. Incoming lightning two. The black mage does not survive, but the rest of the party does. Ice three goes out for 118. Fade goes out for 282. Punch. Three hits for 381. Down goes Kraken two. We're going to need one of these... So Demon Frog really, really, really wants a gnarly Tia 2 or a gnarly yeah. Chaos. Let's see what our Tia 2 has on offer. Sorcerer's Place, we got stuff to do. <laughs> 
Going Demon back Rumble. to meat shield configuration. Here we go. We're going to do some wall strats. We're afraid of insta-kills. We're going to double wall and a punch. Temper goes off. First wall on the white mage goes off. Punch. Seven hits for 140. That's bad news. Here comes the crack. Down goes the meat shields. That's not good. Here comes Ruins the Ruins goes off. Punch. Seven hits for 151. Uh, melee attack still gets through the two ruse charges. Cure four. We're going to leave nothing to chance. Incoming thunder. Sub 100 across the board. Outgoing punch. Six hits for 203. We're going to do a little bit more ruse strats just in case. Incoming ice two. 142 damage to the black belt. Six hits for 199. This is not the pace that we're hoping for. And there is the nuke. nuke. We're going to get a lucky cure four. Eight hits for 126. That's not good. Cure four goes off. We got to do our last cure four on this black belt. Outgoing punch. Seven hits for 253. Tia two still there. Incoming bane. Whew. Misses. Oh boy. Let's try some fade strats. Fade goes out. 132. Down goes Tia two. We That's made spooky. it through. But at what cost? That's a lot of cure fours out of the pool. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we'll see what chaos has. But Demon Frog cleaned up Lich One, gonna take out Carry here. Demon Frog working on Carry as Edgeworth is pulling chaos. We're going to open with some temper. How about some wall on the white mage? And then what I assume to be wall on the black belt. Wall goes off on the white mage. Temper goes off on the black belt. Kess Ponge. Six hits for 134. That's not the greatest news. Ice three incoming does quite a bit of damage across the board. Wall goes off on the black belt. We're going to do our final temper. It was either that or a lock. Yeah. Wall goes off on the black belt. Ponge. Five hits for 527. That's better news. Temper goes off. Lock goes off. Easy to hit. Incoming melee. We no longer have a red mage. We're going to try one more lock. We're going to try a little bit of cure three. Lock goes off. Rub Ooh. ineffective. Paunch. Two hits, nine damage. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti. It's time to start building, <laughs> launching some lock. locks. <laughs> lock for great justice. Lock number three goes off. Cure three. Not the greatest turn order. Paunch. Seven hits for 664. That's better. The second layer of meat shield is down. We're going to try some ruse. That's zap incoming. Misses both light warriors. Paunch. Five hits for 269. Chaos still there. Ruse goes off. We got one ruse left, but a paunch. Seven hits for 276. Chaos still there. Ruse goes off. Fire two. Ain't going to do much. We got two walled characters. Drink strats. But first a paunch. Six hits for 72. Chug. Incoming punch for 138. The white mage is still there. We're going to do a few more drink strats. Chaos tries a punch and a miss. Black belt punch. Six hits for 425. Chaos still there. Chug. Lightning two does lightning two things, but the white mage is under 100 health. Five hits for 274. Chaos still there. The white mage has run out of things to do. Lightning two takes it down to a knee. Punch. Four hits for 221. Chaos still there. We're going to try a swing. Didn't see what the damage was. Is there a punch? Some amount of damage has terminated chaos. <laughs> Edgeworth has finished in first place with an official race time GG of one hour, nine minutes, and two seconds. Get your GGs out in chat. It's pretty good. I mean... That was a, a nail biter. We so we saw Chaos's entire spell list, and the spookiest things in there looked like it was Zap. Uh, uh, there was a Zap. There was uh, a Rub, which is, mm -hmm. uh, and there was the Nuke. Right, there was a Nuke. Yeah. And Demon Frog gonna persevere. I respect that. Sure, I respect that. We're going to stampede, through, like, there's nothing in here that's going to threaten us. We just stomp right on through, and then we just stomp right through Topher. Yeah, this It's not going to be as exciting as Edgeworth's dive, <laughs> uh, but it will be efficient. <laughs> Ooh. 
Right, and we're going to see if uh, Edge wants to come here and talk to us about it. Will Demon Frog see the robot friend? It's a good question. Seen a lot of fighters. And nachos. Spicy nachos. nachos. Bringing the heat. We left them in the microwave too long. <laughs> <laughs> ST a two time. We're going to offer some tempers. Temper goes off. Launch. Six hits for 561. That wasn't the result we expected. Ice no. 2 does Ice 2 things. Second temper goes off. Hang on, let's let's retool the punch cannon real quick. Fire 2 goes off. We're just gonna wait around. Punch. Six hits for 1168. That's the result we wanted. And uh, Edge said he's going to come in for an interview, so once he pops into the uh, the broadcast waiting room, we'll, we'll pull him up here. Mm -hmm. Demon Frog entering the Temple of Fiends Revisited. I wish we had the Black Belt Sprite front and center so we could just see the angry arms swinging back and forth. <laughs> Uh, but we're joined in the booth by our winner, Edgeworth. GG, man, how's it going? Uh, it's going all right. It's, uh, it's a little scary. It was those last couple of walks. Yeah, it was... Uh, yeah. yeah, there's a couple uh, pucker moments, for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't win either of those fights if I don't have fighter strength on Black Belt. Because, you know, going in with two extra tempers right from the start, pretty nice. Mm. Worth noting that I don't believe fighter strength affects black belts when they're unarmed. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think it's just when they got their, their the weapons in their hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today I learned. Look at that! Everybody can learn <laughs> something all the time. I learned a lot too. Um. <laughs> uh, Demon Frog, so it was interesting with the the routing you two took was very similar. Uh, you pulled ahead just sort of by like combat RNG, like little bits here and there, and were able to like get to like Crescent before Demon, that kind of stuff. But um, the the fact that like Demon was like following you around was fascinating. Um, mm -hmm. So if you go back and watch the VOD, you'll see Demon was going everywhere you were going, just getting there like a couple minutes behind you. And you, to the point where we were even grinding at the same time. Mm -hmm. And we even hit 32 at the same time. And the biggest difference there was you had done Earth and Volcano while Demon um, was still sort of riding the struggle bus a little bit. From yeah, the early Demon game. had some problems in Ordeals and that's kind of where the lead just extended out and he was never able to quite claw it back. Yeah. Got, got you. What was nasty in Ordeals? Uh, he lost to the blue D tile. Um, I don't know what uh, detonated his mages before that, or if it just was that fight. Yeah, I think there was some, like, the Zomble punches were proven to be too much, and there's just bad, like, turn order in the fights. Because the nastiest thing we saw in a script was the um, the ghosts with Zap. Yeah. Everything else was just, like, the seed kind of felt... Um, free if these seeds could ever be considered free and just like letting you execute and just perform without really throwing anything in into your uh into your wheel so to speak and yeah. so that those last three fiendry fights got a little spooky mm -hmm. yeah they were they were definitely they're definitely chunky that's for sure and i'm mm -hmm. uh, glad i had lock for the chaos but yeah, that'll be interesting. I believe Demon Frog has lock, but with his black belt at 42, uh, I have a feeling yeah. we're going to be seeing a much different fight. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Where did Demon Grant? 
Uh, he took blue. Uh, he took blue steak uh, off the power cycle. Um, over At the Lafane parking spot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't even see that. Yeah, I just I saw gas dragons like two two in, and I was just like, yeah, that's good enough. I don't feel like checking anything else. Yeah, you had um you had the Maza, so you could start your solo grind a lot faster. Um, Demon didn't get the Maza, so he had to full party grind up until Black Belt hit twenty one. Um, the blue stake had lightning too, which was a little bit spooky. Uh, that's kind of time consuming too. Like even if it doesn't kill anybody, it hits four people. It's a fair <laughs> amount of time. But yeah, once... I was I was resetting a lot, so it was probably about equal. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, once the um, once he got down to a single black belt, he caught up to you real, real quick. Yeah. Forty two, just punch him. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna we're, we're gonna explode this calamari. Here we go. Ready, steady. Care for punch. Ten hits for twenty two oh nine. Yep. There once was a fiend. Named Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> Kraken 2 has been sent 4,000 years into the past. Who was once 2,000 years sent Packin. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And now we'll find out if Tiamat gets the Kraken. Because did Tiamat have crack? I feel like that's a pretty yeah. good joke. I think I did a pretty good joke there. No, you got there. Yeah. It was good. Anybody have ribbons? <laughs> I sure yeah. funny. Uh, no, I don't think we found any ribbons. Mm -mm. Well, 42 then was probably the right move. Oh, well. Eight hits for 528. That's not the result we wanted. Good turn order with both the locks coming out. Mm -hmm. All right, how about this? 10 hits for 1180. Down goes Tia too. Uh, what what was crack? Oh no, never saw. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the benefit of of running forty two black belt though, is you only see like two into the script. You're usually fine. Yeah. Not even gonna bother healing. Let's go. Temper time. All power to the punch cannon. Test it. Five hits for four thirty nine. That's awkward. Two tempers go off. Ice three blows up the meat shield. Almost takes out the red mage along with it. We're gonna try some lock. Uh, what are we doing? Lock Switching. two, right. We bought yeah. that. Launch. Six hits for 631. Temper goes off. Lock two goes off. Incoming punch. No Goodbye, more lock Autumn. mage. We're gonna try one more temper. And then a punch. Seven hits for 362. I Oof. feel like that's the wrong direction. Rub, ineffective. Last temper. Incoming punch for 180. Temper goes off. Punch. Four hits for 611. That's better direction. Uh, what are we doing? Cure 4? Sure. Zap. Misses on the vital target. Cure 4 goes off. Punch. Five hits for 1068. Down goes Chaos. Demon Hrog finishes in second place to an official race time GG of 1 hour 19 minutes and 26 seconds. We'll see if a demon wants to come in here and talk to us about it. And we're joined by our second place finisher, Demon Frog. How's it going, man? Hey, what's up? GG's, Demon. Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. I mean, it was fine. Yeah, it just, wasn't. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like completely gross of a seed, right? Yeah, I mean, the scene itself wasn't gross. It was just, um, I got uh, mini tilted on the river. Like, I just kept yeah. getting my, uh, that lone thief kept going down. And then the wipe, the wipe after ordeals just had me full tilt at that point. I started second guessing what I wanted to do and going back and just, it just kind of unraveled. Um, mm -hmm. I, f I found the blue stake. Uh, I was like, all right, so we're going to have to hang our hat and hope that. Uh, Temple of Fiends is gross, and that a 42 black belt is the answer. <laughs> and 
And even then, like like the, the the scaling on this isn't bad. Like like 100 to 150, and like two or three of those fiends needed locks and tempers and all kinds of stuff. So um, they were they were pretty chunky. It wasn't just a, a quick run through with a even with a 42 yeah. buff out. Yeah, your your Topher dive did look pretty different uh, from Edgeworth's. Uh, yeah, was, Edgeworth went in with a 30, Yeah, Edgeworth went in with a 35, 36 black belt. 36, um, yeah. And had a much tougher time with some of the heavy absorb, heavy evasion fiends. Uh, yeah, cause, yeah, with with the the trouble I had early, and then the wipe. I was like, yeah, like I said, I I just I I'm found the blue state kind of late. I'm writing this like I think I took it to 41. I was like. I, I just I'm gonna need 42 and just like uh, it w wasn't quite gross enough it sounds like mm -hmm. it was almost there but not quite so um question I have is um party composition Edgeworth uh why the black belt rainbow um so if Exit shows up, but Warp doesn't. Um, it's kind of nice for, for Marsh, and that's really it. Um, also, White Mage with Harm, also good in Marsh, and then that's it. So, like, if Fade didn't show up early, just just ban the White Mage at 10 and 3 mana from then on out. Uh, same question, Demon Frog. Why uh, Black Belt Thief Red Black? I've been waffling on uh, open party comps between Black Belt and None. Uh, red black and black belt thief uh red black and kind of opted for the thief just just to help me get around early um he got stoned in marsh or something i just left him stoned because i wanted the experience i probably should have softened him because i wasn't quite done exploration but i was like oh well that's kind of convenient so i guess you can just stay there a little bit won't drag you around but um the thief was was near i can't think of a single situation where i'd be like oh you know what i'm actually going to use the thief uh, with with the black belt, red black backline. So, just just to get around is is all that thief is there for. And then going for a dirt nap. I was sad that I couldn't find a katana for the black mage. <laughs> I, I found one. It rolled neutral, and I tried it once, and it hit for sixty six damage. I said, oh, that's actually about what I should have expected. So, <laughs> yeah, cat claw, cat claw senior. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Caleb, do you have any other questions? Um, uh, you caught me, you caught me off guard. I was not definitely <laughs> moving stuff around and what, um, no, this was a great, this was a great race to watch. Um, like I said before, it was fascinating watching the, the veteran mindset sort of coalesce into shared routing. Um, it's just, I, I feel bad Demon Frog. Uh, I wanted your tournament experience to not be a trial by fire this year because I know you're always given um, a, a tough road to hoe when it comes to tournament matches and landing in the sea troll pod that you did with uh, Edge and Bert and Phoenix who's putting up respectable times as a new player in these pickup races. Um, I feel bad Demon. And just good to see you back. Uh, it's always a pleasure watching you run and race this game so hey thanks hey, it wouldn't be a spring tournament if i didn't have to race someone that you know won a previous spring tournament or at least got to the finals that's just kind of like that, that's how we start these things off if, if, if you didn't know <laughs> i guess i should have called somebody <laughs> um so moving forward in pods uh you two both have to race Burt Reynolds and Phoenix, how are how are you guys preparing? So I see Demon joining uh, pickup races when he can. Edge, how are you uh, practicing for these? And Demon, are you going to adjust strategies moving forward? I'd like to ask two questions to two people at the same time and let you guys fight over who answers. <laughs> I'll defer to to, to, to Edge. <laughs> uh, so I'm just running down the stream when I'm, when I'm not Worlds Collide seats. Uh, not, not really making any adjustments there. Unfortunately, yeah. they're very good, so I'm not getting wires crossed. 
That's I'm fair. trying to go to Narsh the seed, so that's an improvement. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I'm I'm pick I'm doing pickups and 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 to prepare uh, specifically for Bert, I'm I'm losing to him in those practices to give him a false sense of security. Yeah, that's that's totally what's happening there. Um, yeah. And Phoenix will be a a rematch from uh, the dab tournament where he came in about four minutes behind me. So I, I won that one, but I see him practicing, and I'm I'm sure that his his routing is getting a little better. So I I don't know. I'm just I'm, I'm me and Dark Moon in the in in the bring up the caboose, watching the play in race. That's kind of my plan. Well, we do we will need restreamers for that. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding man i love you david frog uh but thank you again for uh coming and hanging out with us being good sports about the race uh thank you dark moon and danny for doing the stuff behind the scenes dark moon with the restream danny with the tracking uh fizzly want to bring us home buddy yeah uh stay tuned we've got um tons and tons and tons of spring tournament races um happening um join us in a few minutes on randomania 2 where our next race is happening uh do we it's Probably. happening in progress happening in progress uh, it's tetron versus ale market yep uh in pod cake uh should be a fun race so for all of us here at the final fantasy randomizer community uh have fun and see you next time <laughs>